Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and I don't know much about Turkish cooking or cuisine, so I thought it would be fun to look through Turkish Fire, Street Food and Barbecue from the Wild Heart of Turkey by Sevtap Yus, or UC, don't know. Ooh, what year is this from? I think we're going to learn a lot about Turkey, too. Ooh, so far it is gorgeous. Loving it. Okay, don't know the year on it. Sometimes it's in the back if it's a UK publisher. It's sort of in the front. Here's acknowledgments. Here's about the author. Don't know the year. Guess I'll have to look it up later. Okay, let's check out the table of contents. Chew. It starts off with the wild heart and then morning, noon, night, and after dark. Well, that keeps it simple. Okay. Let's see what they're talking about with the wild heart. I have to put on my glasses because with this ring light in my face, it's hard to see the small print. It's so bright. Okay. The weather is getting colder. My father buys a ton of wood and two tons of coal, and we hope this will be enough to last us all winter. It is time to get the soba ready. Our soba sat in the living room. You might call it a potbelly stove, but I call it a top belly stove with a round opening on the top to feed the wood and coal through. My mother would get up early in the morning and light the fire and place the sedanis, a huge teapot on top, full of water. After that, she would prepare the breakfast and get us ready for school. The fire would burn all day to keep the house warm and give us a warm home to return to. At the end of the busy day, the fire would burn bright enough to make roasted chestnuts on top for our after-dinner treat. Mum would be sure to cut a sliver from the nut so it didn't explode while cooking. I learned that the hard way, thank you. When the nuts were brown enough, we had to take them from the soba and peel them hot to make sure the second skin came away easily. Pop them into your mouth and yum. In those cold days of winter, fire was part of every Turkish home. I'm going to enjoy reading the rest of this introduction when I'm not on camera. Morning. Okay. Oh, look at that bread in the shop window. Oh, yum. Breakfast and morning tea. I have tea every morning. I'm not a coffee drinker. Tea. Two to three tablespoons, fine black tea leaves, and sugar cubes to serve. Ava Rosselli, otherwise known as Quince Jam. To put on toast. Yum. That's a beautiful... Oh, don't we all wish we had a pantry full of these yummy things put aside? We could have them, but I'm too lazy or busy. This is spicy Turkish sausage with eggs. How good does that look? This is boiled egg salad with parsley, and I really appreciate them putting the English, what it's called, under the Turkish that I don't want to try and pronounce. Here's eggs from the Black Sea. Mmm. Eggs cooked in milk and spring onion. Eggs cooked in minced lamb. Chili eggs. Eggs with tomato, red onion, chili, and parsley. Simit. It is some kind of a bread. We're going to learn a lot about turkey from this cookbook. Okay, I have to skip ahead because I can't show you the whole book, but I want to show you the sesame rings and the sweet bread. And there's flaky pastry breads. I would call those pancakes, but I would probably be slightly wrong because that's baked and not fried on the stove. Something called little buttons. Something called pistachio cookies. I love pistachio. Some people say pistachio and they sound very posh. Now we're in the noon chapter, so I basically showed you the entire breakfast chapter. Okay, can't do that. Turkish breads. Yum. Turkish pizzas. Bread stuffed with spinach. I love how every culture has their own flatbread. Bread stuffed with lamb. Here's some people making lots of bread. Hard work. Bread stuffed with feta and parsley. Good for us vegetarians. Many cultures have their own potato salad recipe, but I'd rather see a picture of the salad than a person. What? Okay. I, what does it look like? Radish and watercress salad. Beautiful photography. Ooh, rocket salad, but the picture is of a bunch of beautiful lemons. What does the rocket salad look like? I'll use my imagination. 
black-eyed bean salad. Mmm. Burgle salad. Haricot bean salad, or haricot. I like to say haricot because it's French. Fried zucchini with garlic yogurt. Yes. Summer vegetable stew. Mmm. Eggplant with feta. Okra fritters. Yum! Who doesn't like fried food, right? Some beautiful Turkish architecture, but no info on where the photo was taken. I was hoping it would say... Oh! It says on the top. Duh! Excuse me. So grand, so beautiful. Galata Tower, Istanbul. And this one is the Bosphorus Reflected in Istanbul. Okay. Excuse me. I didn't see those tiny little writing at the top. Lentil and Walnut Kofte. We're still... Cauliflower fitters, braised chickpeas, kebabs from Adana, wherever that is. Barbecued lamb's liver kebabs. And here's someone putting bread in the oven. Or is that skewers? No, that's bread. Okay. And this book is heavy. Excuse me. Potatoes with chicken. Many cultures have a potato chicken combo because they're so good together. Braised mussels. Barbecued fresh anchovies. Fish soup. I'll have a no thank you helping, but I bet a lot of people watching this like fish soup. There's a wedding soup recipe. Chickpea pilaf. There's a market photo. Sorry, this book is really heavy. Chicken pilaf. Beef kofta. Sizzling kofta. They do a lot of kofta. Lamb kebabs. Lamb kebabs with spring onions. Celebration lamb. Are we in dinner? Did I get to another chapter? Eggplant moussaka. Yum. I thought that was Greek. Shoulder lamb chops with figs. Peas with lamb. I think we're in dinner because we're almost done with the cookbook. Somehow I missed that chapter change. Chicken on skewers. Sea bass baked in paper. Ooh. Barbecued fish. Barbecued mussels. Beautiful photography. <gasps> now I think we're in desserts because there's yogurt cake cherry bread pudding i love cherries yum 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 uh a walnut spiral those spirals are fun to make i like making those i don't do it very often uh rose petal cake but no picture shredded pastry with custard and tea and walnut cake cinnamon and apple babies so that is a cookbook that I'm going to learn a lot about when I go back off camera and look through it more slowly. I'm going to learn a lot about turkey and the markets and the ingredients and it all looks so good except for the lamb. I'm vegetarian. I hope you enjoyed this cookbook look through of Turkish fire, street food and barbecue from the wild heart of Turkey. You can see more of our cookbook look throughs at the cookbookdivas.com blog. We post about cookbooks on Facebook and Instagram. We have a podcast called Cookbook Divas. And of course, we post cookbook reviews on YouTube. If you've enjoyed this review, please give us a like and a nice comment. That'll help the social media algorithms show you more of our posts. Thanks so much for watching.